Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to Will's Cartomancy Tarot. What I'd like to do is to just to do a interesting reading for you guys today. We've all seen the news, and this reading basically is going to solely be on Trump and whether he'll actually concede fairly if he actually loses. Okay? So what I've decided to do today, ladies and gentlemen, is to use my Lenormand's deck to kind of get some sense of, you know, how he's feeling and, you know, where I'm kind of seeing um, this go, you know. Okay, so the, the basic question is, will Trump actually relinquish his throne if he loses and relinquish it fairly? Ladies and gentlemen, if this reading, if you like this reading, please remember to give it a big thumbs up and share it with others as well as subscribe if you've yet to subscribe. Okay, so let's go on and just make a few general observations and then we'll just dive right along deep into this reading. Okay, this card certainly shows that Trump is a very successful, well-known person and he kind of acts like or functions like a salesman or a car salesman, you know? He's very egotistic, ambitious, and a very lonely person. And more than likely, it seems that he might even have multiple relationships that I'm kind of getting to. Okay? He has a very abusive or an aggressive type behavior here looking at this card. You know, and I'm seeing a lot of arguments and fights here. That's kind of going around that he's experiencing a very argumentative -like atmosphere. And it's probably with those in his staff, you know? But one thing, Trump certainly doesn't run away from a good fight here, you know. I feel that he tries to keep an optimistic attitude. And, you know, just having looked at the media uh, the other day or the news, it kind of we kind of heard Trump saying that if he loses, he's going to leave the country. That seems to be a very, very strong possibility here with the ship kind of showing in his future. And the future is all about movement and kind of moving away from a frustrating, you know, type situation here. Because next is, sits there is that moon card. Okay? He's very superficial. I'm getting very sociable. He's cunning. I feel that he's very sneaky and gal. You know? He appears to me to be very drained and tired. And, and he's going through a very difficult phase, you guys. You know, as could be imagined. Okay? I'm feeling that he's very stressed and anxious and... He's demoralized, displeased, you know. But I feel that in this reading, it's kind of showing that he certainly is going to be outsmarted by Biden. Because it looks like, too, that he has I'm kind of getting a low self-esteem here, too, that I'm kind of seeing here in that reading. Although he puts on a, you know, a, massage, a, um, a facade or something like that. Okay? So let's go on and get started and dive right on into this reading. We have the moon card falling to the bottom. So the moon is all about feeling, emotions, and kind of dreaming, including a famous person, which we know it represents Trump, okay? So Trump is certainly here fantasizing about getting reelected, you know? And since this card is traditionally associated, ladies and gentlemen, with one's work, as well as the esteem and praise and popularity, as well as recognition that we tend to, or that arises, or arise from one's work that we gain, okay? It kind of shows Trump really listening to his intuition and kind of attracting attention by the things that he's doing. Yet here again, he might also be allowing himself, his imagination, ladies and gentlemen, might be kind of going awry. In dreams, he's dreaming and fantasizing about winning. But ironically enough, this card, when kind of viewed as a timing card, it kind of denotes approximately, you know, uh, 28 days or a month or within a month, you know, so it certainly shows that, you know, something is definitely going to be decided because, of course, you know, we're kind of quickly approaching November 3rd here, okay? So as you would kind of imagine and expect, winning this election or being, being you know, kind of getting reelected is really stressing him here, okay? So let's move right along to the next card and what I'm going to do with these cards it just talks about the past or things that might be in the process of happening, okay? So we have the stars there. So this card is all about hope, you know, wishes and destiny as well as good luck and healing as we've seen with Trump. You know, clarity and spiritual protection, even including his scientists that helped him. 
Okay? It's also the light at the end of a long, long turn in recovering. Recovery. A fortune adjustment. And that's what we've seen here. So this card clearly speaks about Trump's recent health battle with COVID-19. This card shows that he wished to recover quickly and the scientists existed. And ladies and gentlemen, when you combine um, this building card or card 19 there, you know, it kind of shows, you know, that I'm getting that actually that's the tower card. It kind of stands for governmental institutions as well as a variety of other businesses. So, ladies and gentlemen, what you will find is that with that card, it kind of denotes the hospital from which Trump emerged, okay? Or a medical facility that Trump was in, and the fact that he is presently healing, okay? And the White House, what we have here. So, what we see here is card 16 and 19 represents a general or even a president. So, it is, in fact, tr Trump, you know? And the tower shows Trump as having an advantage, if you will, you know, because in any event, he achieved success with those in authority. And that's how he was elected in the first place. So let's move to the next card. We have the key. And so this key is all about, you know, a twist of fate, ladies and gentlemen, new possibilities as well as destiny and karma. So now that Trump has been kind of released, you know, from the hospital, he... It seems like he has a strategy in mind to kind of change things or kind of change his image I'm getting. And we'll see that, you know, he's, we also are kind of seeing now that he's been kind of putting out more ads here with Biden. Okay, so let's look at this next card here. The next card, ladies and gentlemen, is the whip card. And when you combine that card along with that one, you know, however, one of the things that kind of, tends to that you will find with that card is that there's a lot of bickering as I've already suggested you know from the observations a lot of arguing a lot of pointing fingers you know and disciplinary actions that might be happening you know that appear to be kind of really transpiring there so Trump was very argumentative or he still is with his staff and kind of blaming others and you know I feel that he's also kind of suffering still from chronic pain and there's a strong possibility you know, that I'm feeling it was a challenge to kind of get rid of his fever. Or it could, you know, come back with this card, you know. But he has proven he is a fighter, right? Because that's what it shows in his, you know, combinations. And that his diagnosis kind of cleared up. That's what we are. That's what we have been told, right? So let's look at the next card. We have the crossroads. So that's all about options and choices and being at a bit of an impasse. So currently, I'm feeling that Trump is, in fact, you know, at a bit of an impasse, trying to kind of decide, ladies and gentlemen, really, upon his best, his best path forward, you know, to kind of get reelected, you know. So he's vacillating since this card sets so close, guys, to this card there, you know. It sets very close here to the man here, you know. And he's at a crossroad, and there might even be a decision he needs to make about his health, you know. There seems to be multiple alternatives, and he doesn't kind of know which way to turn, you know. But, of course, Trump is saying, where there's a will, there's a way, you know. He's contemplating some type of devil dealing that I'm seeing here. So let's look in the future, okay. This card is the man, so it represents him, so it's really no further discussion with that card. So with this next card is a sun card, and it's, that's all about happiness, you know, optimism. So this card shows Trump, it really shows that Trump anticipates a victory, you know. It kind of shows him, you know, in good health, even, ladies and gentlemen, that he's kind of, you know, I'm kind of feeling just, he just feels so joyous about things that I'm kind of getting. You know, and he wants to, he's very optimistic and he want to forge your head, I'm getting, you know, despite obstacles to the contrary, you know. He even might have been kind of given some type of radiated type treatment, which is a welcome relief, I feel, you know. Because he feels he's fully recovered and he's very energetic, ladies and gentlemen, and pumped, if you will, you know. So let's look at this next card here. We have the ship. Okay, so this card is all about, again, from the observations, as I've explained, movement, change. And it certainly shows that traveling may be a strong possibility, you know, 
And he's also in the process of traveling as well to kind of defend his position as president. You know, and these might even be spontaneous trips that he's taking with this card. You know, I feel that he sees many opportunities, but since the cloud card there sits so close, y'all, the places he desires to travel are uncertain, you know? He might not even be sure where to travel to kind of get his message out because he already knows that a lot of people are very upset with how he's been handling this pandemic. So I fear there's a lot of miscommunications, misunderstanding going on, and in fact, a lot of illusion. So let's look at your next card here is a letter. So that represents emails and telephonic type communications of all sorts. So if we were to combine, ladies and gentlemen, the cloud along with that letter card, Trump feels he's being defamed in a way. You know, fake news, that, as he always put it, you know. However, he might also be defaming Biden on Harry's and endorsing false advertisement. Or the news he's hearing about himself is making him sad, you know. He might also be receiving advice that he doesn't like from others, okay? And just looking at this next card here, the fox, you know, the fox is all about traps and deviousness and manipulation. So this kind of shows that Trump, ladies and gentlemen, is indeed, I'm kind of getting here, street smart. He's a trickster. You know, even a con artist here. A very, you know, Machiavellianistic type personality. You know, he's a devil talker. I feel something about his health situation has, in fact, been misdiagnosed. And he might even have to see another medical doctor and or specialist. I think that he's communicated misleading news to us. So last but not least, let's look at um, the cross card. And guys, as you would expect, that card is all about karma. It's all about faith, you know. It also, you know, reminds us as of the biblical reference of when Christ had to bear the cross, you know. This shows Trump optimism has turned a bit gloomy or will turn a bit gloomy in the future, even to the point where he's complaining and whining a lot. So he feels this way because Biden will, in fact, gain a considerable lead over him. And I'm feeling that, you know, he's miserable and he's aching and hurting. And of course, here gonna, he's going to play the victim here that I'm kind of seeing here at the end. So due to the karmic nature of this card, these are things he must go through as this card kind of represents inevitability y'all it represents judgment divine will including sadness so I see him having to kind of uh, undergo more tests he's kind of pushing himself too hard and with you know card 23 here I'm sorry with th th having that um, th this card that's kind of sits so close to him up there I'm kind of feeling that it's going to be a very, 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 very stressful situation for Trump, you know, and I don't, I just don't see it here that he's going to concede fairly, you know, because every little thing is going to overwhelm him. And I'm seeing a lot of grief and frustration. It looks like he may even have a mis mental disorder and will do whatever it takes to kind of win. You know, I'm kind of feeling and including with his travel place that he wants to go if he loses. It's going to be a difficult journey that I'm feeling. Somewhere in the United Nations or a foreign type country I'm seeing that he's contemplating. But it's going to be a difficult transition here. Okay? I'm kind of getting. So guys, this is what I have for you. I certainly hope that this reading has provided food for thought for you. Please remember to go on and like and share and just let me hear your comments. Thanks a lot for your time. And if you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me at wat61073 at gmail.com. Enjoy your day.